Hi, my name is Nirmala Sundarappa. I'm a product manager for Oracle, JDBC and UCP. This is the episode 7 of the series Getting Started with Java, JDBC and the Oracle Database. In this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot the top 5 connection errors that developers encounter while using Oracle JDBC to establish connections to the Oracle database. The first error is the network adapter could not establish the connections. Let's consider TCP connection. This is a generic message that is thrown for some of the connection issues. If you scroll down the error stack trace, then you will find the section caused by that provides more specific error messages. Some of the error messages are listed here. The solution to these problems is to verify if the database is up and running. We always recommend that you use either SQL Developer or SQL Plus to verify if the database is up and running and you are able to successfully connect to the database. In case of an on-premise database, make sure the listener is running. Also, check the host name, port number and service name of the connection string that you are using. Let's simulate this error. I have two code samples. One is data source sample, which is using the Oracle JDBC driver. And the second one is the UCP sample, which is using UCP. Let's change the TNS alias to something which is invalid and then build this uh, code sample and run it. You can see that we immediately got the error, could not resolve the connect identifier test underscore medium. The second connection error is the same. And this time we are looking at TCPS connections or mutual TLS connections. If you scroll down the stack trace, then you can find a specific error message as listed here. Some of the solutions are, you need to check if the correct TCPS connection properties are set. And if you're using Oracle wallets, then make sure the additional jars are present in the class path. And if you're using JKS, then key store password should be correct. Also make sure that the path for the wallets and JKS is correct. Another important point is to check if the TLS protocols and cipher suites that you are using are supported on the server side as well as on the client side. Let's simulate this error. I'm using a code sample that connects to Oracle Autonomous Database that is using Oracle wallets. So it requires a file ojdbc.properties file and that has a Oracle wallets related property. I'm going to comment this line and run the code sample. And this time let's run UCP sample. You can see we got the exception. Since we are using UCP sample, the generic message that you see is unable to start the universal connection pool. If you scroll further, you can see the specific error message IO error received fatal alert handshake failure. The third connection error is a simple one and a common one. Invalid username or password. This indicates that you need to use the correct database username and password to connect to the database. Let's simulate this one. In this code sample, I'm going to change the username to something invalid and build and run this code sample. You can see that we got the exception invalid username or password. The fourth connection error is also a common one. It is no class definition found error. This can be caused when the Oracle JDBC driver or UCP is not in the class path. The solution is to make sure that Oracle JDBC driver is in the class path. And if you're using UCP, then UCP.jar is also in the class path. Let's simulate this error. To simulate this error, I have removed the JDBC driver from my local Maven repository. And you can see that the sample is showing a compilation error. And when you run it, you will get an error, no class definition found error. The fifth connection error is related to UCP. The exception shows all connections in the universal connection pool are in use. This occurs when the number of connections you are trying to borrow is more than the maximum pool size. For example, if the maximum pool size is five, and if the application is trying to borrow six connections without closing any previous connections, then this exception occurs. Let's simulate this error. To simulate this error, let's set the maximum pool size to two and try to borrow three connections. You can see we are checking out the first connection, second connection, and the third connection. Let's compile and run. You can see the exception here. These are some additional resources for your reference. Thank you for watching. 